You take me up high, the clouds in the sky. Right, folks, it's number 79. It's a touchline rant. Three of us here Mitch, Luke, Alex. We're ready to go. It's going to be a good show, I think. We are good to go. I feel it. We are good. I can feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. <laughs> It is, but I think the break has come at a decent time for Spurs because, as we've been saying, they are knackered. And I'm not saying they're not yeah. really knackered because their players were on international duty, but I do think it was a chance for them to kind of regroup a little bit because they've been uh, they've suffered a few bad results, and I think they needed a bit of a break. I think yeah, I think they that. have. I mean, look, I think that a lot of that Spurs. What's Spurs just fighting for now, though? Four. Well, uh, four, but they're still in the Champions League. But in the in the league wise, yeah. and le- league wise, I think they they'll. Look what would for you top, go for if you could three. have one or the other? Like if you went through to the semi final of the Champions Champions League, or mm. make sure you get right there. from a well, rigid, right from a romantic standpoint, what I would Both. like to do. Okay, it's like look, I could lump Man United in this, so I'll give you two. Let's not go. No, down. hang on, because what I'm saying is, from a Man United fan's perspective, United are in very much the same position. We're going for fourth, and we're still somehow in the Champions League. Now, from a romantic perspective, what I quite like to do is see Spurs using this analogy. Now, take this as being like. We could we could get fourth and we could win the Champions League. Is that an impression of you? And being I don't think Spurs? they can. I think the sen- and my sensible that was me being Spurs. B O B W. Be best of both worlds. What's yeah, your, what's your, what's worlds. Your, what do you say? Right, from my sensible head. Yeah. Then I think what they should do is concentrate. But then I just think Spurs. You're in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. All right, just to play devil's advocate a minute. You you you're still in the quarterfinals of the Champions League now. Quarterfinals, last eight, dear, last eight. And when you get fourth in the Premier League, what, what are you, why are you getting fourth for? You get fourth for a chance at the Champions League. But you've got that chance right now. You're in the quarter-final. Win the Champions League, yeah. Roll the dice. And who have they got in the, in the, in the next round of the Champions League? Man City. Like British teams in Europe this year. Absolute. Yeah, I know. Yeah, don't really well. Nuggets. Oh, you doing? Have you got your feedback sorted? I've, I've, I've sorted? got two of them. Okay. Uh, Bruno Urkel, Manga, and Lars Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We haven't done Lars before. Um, and and I was thinking, George Ware's is George Ware's cousin Bruno Ware. Can we, we just? Do we have to talk Man United? Yeah, we do. Can't judge whether or not Solskjaer is going to be a success at Man United because. He hasn't had a transfer window. Mm. And he said, you don't know how he's going to... United, he said United have fallen behind because they haven't been able to address the transfer window for a while. Well, do you know what? You don't know how Solskjaer's going to get on. You he can't please better. everyone. You can't do... You have extraordinary superhuman results and then someone questions the next yeah. thing. And it's the next thing. It's the next thing, Mitch. Guess what? There's another thing after that. Yeah. It's the human condition. Right. Next, get better. Oh, you did that already. Okay, do something else better. Sisyphus. Yeah. There's not actually that many, when you look at club managers, mm. there's not that many great ones available to you at the minute. You know, mm. you, even ones which are in clubs, which you look at and go, oh, he would go there. Like when, I know it's completely different, but when Marco Silva and the Everton chat, what yeah. was going on when he was actually Watford manager? Yeah. Um, it's bigger than, you know, like say get Pochettino in, but he's just signed a massive contract. Mourinho's Costa. persona non grata. The two that I would want at United is going to be interesting. If you... See how Solskjaer does for the rest of the season. It's this thing of him not having a transfer window, which is bothering me now. Um, I think that's going to have an impact. But the other one would be Ancelotti, or I would go for Allegri. Well, whatever happens, it's absolutely justified. You've been excited. I've yeah. seen you. So in, in essence, like whatever they whatever they do is I brought a level of excitement back to, to the United it. faithful. The standard in the Champions excited. League this year has been absolutely sensational. Yeah, I cannot massive. wait for these for the these Champions League. Champions League has been really so exciting. Good. You know, with the Ajax knocking Real Madrid result, that was a huge game. I didn't see Porto getting through. Yeah. You know, it's it, it, it's huge from so Liverpool. Many great results. Results from Liverpool. I yeah, I, th- I mean, I thought they were going to batter by us. Sisyphus. Cardiff City and the game week from hell. Hell, yeah. Double game week hell. from hell. It is not the latest in the Harry Potter series. No, no. Okay, Cardiff City and the double game week from hell. It is not. What? It is them playing 
Who's it, who's it, who's this Harry Potter film starring besides right, Cardiff City? Cardiff City played Chelsea. Oh, and Chelsea. Three days later, played Man City. That is the toughest one That's to a, come across. That is a double game. With That's an ensemble out. cast. But do you know what? Again, after after the games week, what we've just had, mm. maybe, just maybe they'll find Can some I... Salah strength. As we go, let's just take into consideration. Come on, Mister Devil's Advocate. How amazing Cardiff City has. Do you know what he's doing, mate? Do you know what he's doing? Do you know what he's doing? <laughs> He's speaking the language of the devil right now. <laughs> exactly. Come on, um, I would like to shout out. Before, Dick we, go, advocate over before we go any Deep. further, I want a sh- big shout out from both of you. Uh, both of you shout right now. Shout out. <laughs> shout out. Okay. Shout out for Sol Bamba. Sol Bamba. For this Bamba. season. Dick because advocate he's, to Sol Bamba. He's been, he's been the shining light of Cardiff City. I hope they just yeah. find something with him because there's no expectation yeah. on these two fixtures. However, I still think they will stay up. I have all the faith yeah. in within that. This is not expected. It, it's gonna it's gonna put him in the relegation zone. However, after that, it's just you need so to. So you get feel like right. maybe this week they've I got almost a like a free swing. At a Absolutely, of because right, of this mentality of triple captain. Uh, give can you see Cardiff City beating Chelsea? Right, due to <laughs> due to no, it's a genuine question. Chelsea are being fair. Very weird side. So, what if they get a draw or, or a sneaky win out of that? Putting that's what I'm more saying. pressure Mitch, on Sarah. Do you think that's possible? Mitch, do you think Cardiff is possible? Oh, hang hey, on, Mitch. I've just heard a change of tone. <laughs> <laughs> I, it is possible. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely Flip possible. Um, I think that's the, you know, obviously. Play some flip. I think they got more of a chance of, of getting some out of Chelsea than City for obvious reasons. But, you know, why not? It, the, the place will be rocking. It'll be, the atmosphere will be amazing. You never know. Chelsea have had a really indifferent season. They've been up and down. I yeah, they've got they have got a chance. I think they More probably won't. But to City, I'm giving them respect please. there. I'm Everyone, respect. they deserve. I think they've had. A, listen, I think they've had a great season, and I've said all along. I think Warnock has done a fab job, at even putting them in with a shout. And I think they. I think they've had a great season. Consider where they are. Yep. And I, do they, know, they, I think they'd have taken this position now. Season. Season. It's a beautiful I, thing. As to much, see. I'd love to see say that this isn't true because I predicted them to go down, but I think Southampton are safe. I've changed my mind. I think Southampton are safe. I think Burnley are uh, Cardiff City's yeah. main hope of survival this season are uh, to replace Burnley. Yeah. So, and you did say, yeah. in fairness. In fairness to you, in fairness because to I'm a fair you, man, you did fairness, say at the start of the season it would not you? surprise. Me, you said if Burnley go down, you said that in fairness. Yeah, you I did. did. I did. did at the start of the season, and yeah, I think you're right. I think Southampton have got. I forgot I said that. They've done. They've done well since the new managers come in. But yeah, Burnley have. have they it looked for a period because they went on that really good run that Burnley were going to just pull away. Yeah, and they've got sucked back into it at a time they don't want to lose momentum. What they haven't done, what Newcastle have done. Yeah, New the last couple of years, Newcastle have just. <clears throat> Found themselves in a position and just gone on. They've done exactly what they've lasted. Can I throw it out there? You cool. take out anywhere he used to go. Could you see Rafa Benitez going to United? Rafa Benitez could go anywhere. It it depends. Well, obviously mm. it's history, but I couldn't know. No, I don't do think that. I don't. I don't imagine think it happened. Imagine Stratford would they accept him? Yeah, but I think they the, would. The but, same uh, with Everton. Did you see Rafa going to Everton? Uh, no. 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 Right. No, okay. Do you know who I can't see going to Everton? Warnock. No. 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 I, I think we talked about it when we did our special with the Grazing Shed, Adam from the Grazing Shed, the, the, at the Cardiff yeah. City Stadium. Yeah, Cardiff City Stadium. Great, great Stadium. little bonus set if you haven't listened to it. We oh, did man. say, we, I think we, a few of us agreed that Warnock might retire either way. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. We all felt that was And then it'll be all over the television. Right, okay. So, right, okay. It's not all one more thing, one more thing. It's not all doom and gloom for Sarri and Chelsea, is it? What's the best they can hope for this year? Yeah, well, where are they going to go? They can still get in the top three. Where are they going to go? Without Sarri, where are they going to go? Huge of (laughs) truth. Since this is my final show for now for now oh, I know um, and I thought I would bring back one of our much loved games that we played back in the day and so today to mark this episode yeah we're bringing back 
airport versus stadium. Yeah. Oh. And since I am leaving on a jet plane, goodness me, um, very soon we are gonna play in honor of that airport versus stadium. So, yes. folks, I've got ten airports okay. or stadiums, and I'm gonna give them to you, and we're gonna see who's gonna win this one. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna play against each other. Right, I'm ready. All okay. right. Okay. 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 So the first one to start you off is Aloha. So is that Aloha Airport or Aloha Stadium? What are we thinking, folks? I'm Aloha go, Stadium. I'm going to go airport. You're going stadium. You're going airport. Aloha. I can tell you it's Aloha Stadium. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's, excited. it's the principal stadium in yeah. Hawaii, as you'd imagine. It holds Talk 50... It up. 50,000 people. One. I'm um, mostly home to American football games, but has okay. supposed to be on soccer games. One skinner, so. one skinner. All right, so this next Come one. Come on, I can pull this back. Is useless loop. Oh. Useless loop. Oh, I'm gonna airport. Stick, I'm going to stick my guns and say airport, yeah. You're both saying airport? Yeah. You are correct. You're both correct. Okay. It's in Australia. Uh, Sounds Aussie. You know, in honour of Australia, it's uh, it's an airport okay. in Australia. I think it's Western Australia. I think. Yeah, right. that's a typical example in, in of Australia. Of Just name it what it is. In in honour of us going intercontinental in, podcast. Exactly. Champions. Exactly. <laughs> Global. Okay. So there we Global. are. We're pushing the bar. So um, um, next, I'm hitting you with Angelo Massimino. I'm going to straight out stadium. 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 You're both saying stadium. Yeah, you're correct. It's uh, Calcio Catana, 20,000 Serie C, okay. uh, uh, I right. say group then, Serie C uh, team, uh, 20,000 stadium. Wow. Three, two. Okay, <sighs> next uh, is Black Tickle. Ooh, I beg your pardon. I said Black Tickle. Stadium. <sighs> You're saying stadium. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to risk it and say airport. You're saying airport. Yeah. I can tell you, Black Tickle is an airport yes! <laughs> in Canada. And so there we are in Canada. Airport um, didn't let me know. You the should know. Time. You should, you know, should that. know. You should know that, Al. Um, so there we are. Big it's two fan. all. It's two Big all fan. or three all? Three all. Three oh all. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Tension is palpable. Your one, two, three, four. Your fifth one Yeah. is McDonald Jones. Is it McDonald Jones Airport or McDonald Jones Stadium? Shall I make the first move? You can if you want. Stadium. You're going to stadium? I'm going to say airport. You're going to go airport. Oh. I can tell you it's McDonald Jones Stadium. Yeah, take the lead. It's, it's home. It's another Australian one. It's home of the Newcastle Jets and it, ho and it holds 33,000. It's a, they're a uh, A-League side, Newcastle Jets. Don't test me on Emil Pesky. <laughs> There's no Emil Pesky. Pesky. So we're going to, I'm going to hit you next. Now that Luke has crept into the lead. That's a slow start. Yeah. I'm going to say Tingvala IP. That's Tingvala IP. Uh, that is a stadium. I'm gonna step forward to say airport. Oh, I like it. I like this. You go. I like how you go with different ones here. You're saying stadium. You're saying airport. I can tell you, it's Tingvala IP is a stadium. Oh, oh it's, you back in. It, the IP is Tingvala Idra Platz. Idra Idra oh. Platz. Idra Platz. It's in Karlstad. Easy it's home of Karlstad United in Sweden. Oh. It is easy for me to say. Um, right, here we go. All. Four all again. This is getting good. And I'm going to say to you now, I'm going to say to you, moron. <laughs> and that's not me calling Luke a moron. Why oh, this, is is it, this is the game. This is the game. This is the game. This is it. Moron. <laughs> I'm saying to you, moron. moron. Okay, right. I'm gonna and say... here's the name of your airport estate. <laughs> no. Is it, more, is it moron? Is moron airport or is it moron? I'm going to ask you to go first. You can't do it. Let's you okay, right. No, oh, okay. Can't, come on, Al. Come on. Let's get you. Come on. You throw your answer in first. He's done a few first. Mine. He's thinking about it. It's an airport. I'm going to say airport. You're both saying airport. I can yeah. tell you. You're both correct. It's in Mongolia. Yeah. It's more on yeah. airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's more on airport. Um, I'm also going to say to you, workers. Stadium. He's, oh, he's straight in there. Stadium. He's saying workers. 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 Stadium. Workers. Is a work, workers are original. No, it's work, it, it is. You're both correct. 62,000 
in Beijing, it was it was built as one of the premium stadiums in Far East. Two two thousand and two, uh, two thousand and two World Cup. My far East I'm going to say to you. <laughs> next, I'm going to say to you, Batman. Oh. <laughs> This is either a stadium God. or an airport, but I'm saying to you, na 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 Batman. Airport. Airport. You're going airport as well? Airport. It is an airport. It's an airport in Turkey. Oh my God. Right, it's seven all. a place in Turkey. We're at seven all. We've got two questions left. This is mad. Okay, go on. Okay. I'm saying to you, to, sorry, no, we've not got two questions left. We've got one question left. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's a seven god. Oh my god, we might have to share the trophy. I'm saying to you, Denka Big Swan. <laughs> <laughs> I say the best for last. And it's Denka Big Swan. That, I'm saying that, 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 is, that is a stadium. You, you know what? Stadium. Because it's the last question and it's the last show. <laughs> you say stadium, I'll say airport. Oh my god, he's going for airport. And I tell you what, this, I is, don't care really. this is poetic justice after your, your trash talking a moment ago because it is a stadium ah! <laughs> and it is in Japan as well. So your Far East knowledge <laughs> has quickly got done. It's in Nagata City, it holds, it holds 42,000 people. Welcome everyone to Big Den- oh, Denk and Big Swan Stadium. That is your final stadium you. or airport. It's well, been a wonderful it's game. A pleasure. Well, pleasure. That is well, a game. That is your airport stadium. Thank you. Uh, so as we always do now on the show, we always read all your texts or messages or tweets or whatever. Feedback that comes in. We always appreciate your feedback. Mm. Keep it coming to us mm. on all the socials. Here they are for this week. Clive Mendonca. On the socials, what are they quickly? At a, a touchline touch rant. Line rant. Twitter. That's it. Yeah. Correct. Easy enough. Mond- Mendonca, go. Mendonca says perfect send off for Mitch. Well done, lads. Um, Bruno Urquil Manga says this is what you get when you cross football knowledge with layered comedy. Yeah. Um, he goes. Uh, he goes. Football. Congratulations, boys! Congratulations, boys! You've reached football podcasting nirvana. Oh. So I think that's a really good one. That really is, positive. That really positive. Um, a Hashtag BTR live. <laughs> Bert Haas says, airplane versus stadium gets a yes, yes, yes from the Haas man. Um, and I, uh, <laughs> Roger Miller says, this episode was cool. Just cool. If I could use one word to describe this episode, it would be cool. That, my friends, was cool. Um, that's uh, Roger Miller. <laughs> and and oh. Isaiah Rankin has, has said, vintage... <laughs> Vintage Championship Corner, Return of Air <laughs> Airplane vs. Stadium, Mitch, my son, Salu. <laughs> that's that your is your son. son. <laughs> that's, what, that's it. That's it from Zion. That's it from all the feedback. It's the first time we've ever had unanimously. Oh no, sorry. We've we got, got one more. We've got one more. We've got one more. So we nearly got you good. We nearly got your ass with positive feedback. But George Ware's cousin has written and he says, How do I listen back to the shows? And George, oh, that's neither positive or negative. George, you have to go on. You have to go on to Anchor. And listen that way. Listen, it's not available. All the podcasts. So, hang on, let me get this up. George Ware's <laughs> cousins just asked us directly, how do, how, do we, how do we listen back to this yeah. episode? Because he might have caught it and said, say, or maybe oh saw us on YouTube and want to know how to actually go back oh to God. the podcast. And you're saying either Anchor or iTunes, a touchline rant. They can, he, George Ware's cousin could actually do that. He could do that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, um, that's, that's a, a fan. I, I really enjoyed this feedback. This, 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 <laughs> yeah, no negatives this week. No, no, negatives. no negatives. No negatives. That you're summing up, Adam. No, no negatives. negatives. This draws to a close the Mitchell Gad Era. final episode. We're leaving in. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Listen to this because something weird's happened in the podcast. I mean, not really listen to it. It's added an extra nine minutes on. So, yeah, that is us. I don't know why. Thank you very much. It's goodbye. It's ages.
Sorry. What's the repeat? Listen, what hang on. Yeah. It's so long for now. So long for now. Yeah. Hang on, listen. And now for a word from the Mitchell Gad fan club. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this has been our last week. Oh my god.
And uh, don't forget to report back on how Emil Heskey's doing as the Newcastle Jets. <laughs> <laughs> That is amazing. Well, I'm what, what, uh, that is absolutely incredible. I was hurting throughout that. <laughs> so that was just hilarious, but amazing. Um, so a roundup, mate. That was that? that was probably the best thing I've ever heard in my life. I think <laughs> I think that is easily the best and coolest thing that anyone's ever done for me. Uh, so that is amazing. I'm gonna I literally blown away. Oh man, thank you very much. But anyway, thank you to you guys. So if um, you want to see what, what we actually do get on with, you can go to our YouTube page. Yeah, YouTube it's page. It's all, YouTube. all the touchline rant. So, the touchline rant. So yeah, yeah. that is us. Uh, Adios. That's us gone. Adios. Thank uh, you You've been much. a treasure. It's goodbye. You'll it's always so, be. It's not goodbye. It's not goodbye. It's never goodbye. It's so long for now.